All right, welcome to the video. Today we're going to go through where to find all of your toolbars, all three. Um, I got a comment on a previous video that I did where I showed how to find this top toolbar um, where someone asked where to find the ones on the side. Now I don't know which side they're referring to because I have stuff on both sides. So I will show you where to find both. So just starting quick, the top one, window, hit control. That top one goes away. Go to window, hit control. Now it's back for the one on the left side. Uh, you can click and drag these around all you want. Um, also, to stick it to the side, it'll highlight blue, let go, it'll pop up there. So you can click and drag those around, but say, oh shoot, it's gone. Um, you need to go to the window, go to toolbars, and there's two options. You can do basic or advanced. I like to do advanced because it has some more tools on it, but if I click basic, you can see it pops up here in the left-hand side. I can click and drag it. I can put it over here if I really wanted to. I usually just have it over here. Um, but if I wanted to switch that back to my advanced toolbar that I had, go to window, click advanced, you'll see it pops up. And I can stick it over here. And in particular, I like this because I use the smooth tool a lot and it's not on the basic toolbar thing. So that's why I use advanced so much. But that's how you get that one. And then for the ones on the right hand side, you're going to go to window. And these are basically self built. So it's very modular on the right hand side so you can go into window and select all these different things and put them over here. So like say I wanted to have the brushes option. Well I have it tucked over here just under here. These are all like, I don't know if you call them widgets or just like little groupings of tools that you can all rearrange. And a lot of these are really just under the window tab. And once you get below the toolbars, all of these things are basically things that you can add. So like if I go down here, there's so many different ones that you can do. So like swatches is one that's very important that is used a lot. So like if you're missing it, that's where you go to get it. Go to window, look for stuff, click up different things. So like Pathfinder, that's another one I use to like make masks and stuff. Um, and then again, you can like click and drag these out all you want. And you can like expand them with these little arrows and you can just stick them together. So like if I want them like that, now I got them stacked. Say I want them next to each other, I can blow these up and then put them here. And then there you go. Now you can go back and forth, back and forth. And if I want to put them here, you can see all these little blue highlights of where it will snap to as soon as I put it. So like if I wanted to add a third row, that's where you can do it. Now I've grabbed them all, but you can put it here and then it should go back. So there's a lot of different options with this um, for what you can do. So yeah, just go ahead and play with that and make sure you can just build your own modules based on what you want and what you like. So that's basically it. So that's how you get all the toolbars in Adobe that you can use for your own references and designs.